السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته بويز اند جيرلز ويلكم اهلا وسهلا and مرحبا to you مدرسة تي في شو. This is a show where we bring you مدرسة right in front of your TV screens. Welcome back after a long beautiful month a month of Quran month of Ramadan. Boys and girls as month of Ramadan have reached uh, the end and now we are in the month of Shawwal. You have to remember uh, it's still we still have to keep up with our Quranic habits inshallah ta'ala. I'm Ustad Hamza, I'm your teacher for Medina and today I'm here to teach you a lot of exciting things that you don't learn in a madrasa. Today on this show, we are going to be learning some common words of Quran. We're going to learn a very important hadith, a very, very, very important hadith. We have a tajweed lesson and we have a recite and reflect segment. Today, me and Bunny, we've decided to teach you guys, inshallah ta'ala, Surah Al-Fatiha. If you call in, recite Surah Al-Fatiha with me, not only are you going to get a badge, you can even win, inshallah ta'ala, a badge. Like extraordinary bag, you're gonna win that. You have to call in, recite. Call in, recite, then I can give you feedback on your recitation and I can give you a badge, inshallah ta'ala. Welcome. Those of you watching me live on YouTube, guys, hit the like and share button and do that real quick, inshallah ta'ala, guys. Hit that like and share button now. Let me see your comments, inshallah ta'ala, and let me interact with your comments. Give me a comment, tell me your name, tell me where you're watching this show from. Welcome, guys, welcome, welcome. Okay. Let's start this show and it's going to be really, really fun. But before I do that, can I request all of you really quick to do what Bunny is asking you to do? Today we're going to be learning a lot. So grab a pen and pencil. Let's start this inshallah together. Boys and girls, let's go. Our first segment is going to be first. And here is our first segment. Let's go. Welcome. I'm going to keep a number here so you can call and recite inshallah ta'ala. Today I'll be teaching you three common words of Quran. The three common words that we're learning today are word sitta, saum, and the word ad-dahr. Sitta, saum, and the word ad-dahr. Barakallahu feekum. Let me remove the number. Now, I'm teaching you these, particularly, uh, these three words particularly for a reason. We'll come to the reason in a bit. Let's have a look at the first common word in Quran, and that is the word sitta. What is sitta? Let's have a look, inshallah. This is wahid. This is ithnan. This is thalatha. This is arba'a. This is khamsa. And then this is sitta. This is sitta, this is ithnan. This particular number is mentioned in Quran quite a few times. What's the word? Sitta. Barakallahu feekum. Sitta. Let's go inshallah ta'ala and explore our example here. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Allah says in Quran, وَلَقَدْ خَلَقْنَا السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضَ وَمَا بَيْنَهُمَا فِي سِتَّةِ أَيَّامٍ وَمَا مَسَّنَا مِنْ لُغُوبَ بارك الله فيكم What does it mean? It means, indeed, Allah saying we created the heavens and the earth Yes, and everything in between in how many days, guys? Six days. Huh. And we were not even touched with fatigue. Allahu Akbar. See how Allahu Akbar amazing Allah Azza wa Jal is that He created all of this. My bad, I was pressing the wrong buttons. Allah created everything. And it did not get Allah Azza wa tired at all. So sitati ayyam, in how many days? Six days. So Allah created the seven heavens 
and that is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then you have the planet Earth. And then the planet Earth, you have this. And then underneath the earth, you have layers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah? So all of that, and why there is a mouse here? The arrow button. <laughs> so this is Sittati Ayyam. In how many days Allah created all of this? In six days. Barakallahu feekum. Bunny, when I say salamu alaykum to all of you guys, say wa alaykum as salam. Boys and girls, let's move to our second word. The second word today is this particular word. Saum. Saum. And I'm sure you guys know what saum mean. Yeah? Saum. What does saum mean? Can anyone guess? Oh, it's already written there. Saum means fast. But it has a different meaning. Give me a second. I will explain it to you, inshallah ta'ala, in a second. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ha! Can we make the Arabic writing a little bit smaller? Can we make the Arabic writing a little bit smaller here because it's uh, cutting off some of the verse? Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Fakuli wa shrabi wa qarri aina fa imma tarayin min al bashari ahada fakuli. فَقُولِي إِنِّي نَذَرْتُ لِلرَّحْمَنِ صَوْمًا فَلَنْ أُكَلِّمَ الْيَوْمَ إِنْ سِيَّا الله أكبر Boys and girls So, what did Allah Azza wa Jal say to Maryam alayhi salam? He said, so eat and drink and put your heart at ease But if you see any of the people say I have woe silent to the most compassionate, so I am not talking to anyone today. The word is Saum. Inni nadartu lirrahmani Saum. Strange here. So Maryam السلام, was supposed to not talk, and then the word is used here, Saum. Let's understand this word here. Saum means something. Saum means al imsak. Al Imsak. What does Al Imsak mean? Al Imsak mean to withhold something. To hold something. Imsak. To stop yourself from something. So, what is it that we are stop stopping ourselves from when we are fasting? You are stopping yourself from something. When you're fasting in the month of Ramadan, you're stopping yourself from eating and drinking. But when you say in this particular ayah, نَذَرْتُ لِلرَّحْمَنِ صَوْمًا It means you're holding yourself from speaking to others. Sawm, Allahu Akbar. Barakallahu feekum. Yeah, Barakallahu feekum. So Sawm can be so many different things. It can also be that you isolate yourself from other people. Boys and girls, here is our third common word, and the word is Ad-Dahri. Ad-Dahr. Dahr means period of time, and it can also mean year. What, how long is Dahr? Well, we'll talk about it in a second, but have a look at this example. MashaAllah, Tabarakallah. Here is an example, boys and girls. The example is, هَلْ أَتَى عَلَى الْإِنسَانِ حِينٌ مِّنَ الدَّهْرِ لَمْ يَكُنْ شَيْئًا مَذْكُورًا لَمْ يَكُنْ شَيْئًا مَذْكُورًا بارك الله فيكم Is there not a period of time when each human is nothing, was nothing, yet worth Mentioning Allahu Akbar. Think about what happens to people when they die, when they're gone. In a matter of few years, no one remembers them. We only remember some very well-known people through history. Of course, people who've done a lot of khair, amazing people who've done a lot of bad. But what about all the millions of people? Millions and millions of people. Every couple of days, we have millions of people who leave this world. No one even remembers, subhanAllah. 
So this is going to be us, this is going to be you, this is going to be me, no one is going to remember you, no one is going to know or will remember anything about you. Very important, barakallahu feekum, that you understand that. So, what do you do? You make yourself important by making yourself closer to Allah Azza wa because then you will be important, then you will remain important in the eyes of Allah Azza wa So the third word here was Ad-Dahr. ad I'm teaching you these three words today for a reason. ad For example, today is 14, maybe. ad Now, ad can also mean year. Dahar mean can also mean here. I'm going to show you, teach you a hadith, inshallah ta'ala, after uh, this particular segment where we are going to learn a hadith. But before we do that, inshallah ta'ala, let's recap today's three common words. What was the first word, guys? It was sitta. Sa, seen, ta, ta, ha. All together. Sitta. Sitta. It means six. Let's try the second common word of Quran. What's the word, Barakallahu Fikum? The word is The word is Song. Sod. Sod. The letters are Sod. Wow. Mean. Song. Together. Song. And it means to fast. It doesn't mean fast or slow, it means fast. Next word is Barakallahu Fikum, the word we just learned right now. And that is Saum, Sitta. And the third word was Dahr. Dal, Ha, Ra. Together, dal, ha, and ra, dahr. Dahr means year. Here. There we go. Barakallahu feekum. Boys and girls, we will be taking a short break. When we come back, we're going to continue learning. We have a lot more to learn, inshallah ta'ala. But you're going to promise me that you're going to come back after a short break to continue. We have a, a Tajweed segment, we have Quran segment, and today we have decided to read and recite and learn the easiest surah in the Quran, and that is Surah Al-Fatiha. Boys and girls, I want you to start calling me in right now so I can hear your recitation and give you feedback. So call in late, call in early, call in now. If you call in now, I'll put you on hold, but I will definitely give you a chance to uh, recite and give you some feedback, inshallah ta'ala. And let's see how many of you will get an extraordinary badge. We have bronze, silver, gold, Extraordinary badge, honestly, how many of you will do an extraordinary recitation, inshallah. And make sure you come back after the break for our next very important segment, and that is going to be Hadith segment. See you all after a short break. Stay with us. Assalamu alaikum.
Assalamu alaikum, welcome back. <coughs> it's very strange that all the cough and sneeze and <coughs> it happens right a few seconds before I go live. During the whole break, I was waiting to cough and no, 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 nothing was coughing. <laughs> Boys and girls, welcome back to Madrasa TV show. Let's remove that phone number. Today on this show, we are learning some common words of Quran. We just had an amazing segment before the break where we learned three common words of Quran. We can do a quick recap, can we? Shall we do a quick recap? Boys and girls, give me a yes. Yes? Okay. And we have a hadith corner, uh, inshallah ta'ala, segment, a beautiful hadith, a very important hadith that you need to learn. Then we have tajweed segment, and then we also have a recite and a reflex segment, inshallah ta'ala. Recite and reflex segment, you need to know this phone number, you need to call and recite. And if you want to call and recite, then call this number, inshallah ta'ala, give you some feedback on your recitation. And I'm also going to be giving you, inshallah ta'ala, some badges if you call and recite. So make sure you call and recite, make sure you are not sleeping, guys. Call us inshallah ta'ala on the number that you see here. I'm just hitting the share button guys. Hit that share button, hit that share button inshallah. Let's go. Hadith corner, before we go to hadith corner boys and girls. Here are the three common words that we learned today. First word is made of four letters. Thitta. This word is common in Quran and it means six. Boys and girls, next one here is sawm. Sawd, wow, and meem. What does sawm mean? Sawm means to fast. Not slow, it means to fast. Boys and girls, <laughs> fast mean like fasting in the month of Ramadan. Next one is dahr, dal, ha, and ra, and it means year. Barakallahu feekum. Dahr means a period of time, which can mean a year. Now I taught you these three, three common these three common words for a reason. Let's inshallah ta'ala look into that reason because I am going to be teaching you some very important lesson. Now, you need to understand these three words so you can understand this particular hadith. And let's go straight to our hadith corner. Boys and girls, we're running to hadith corner. Come with me. Come with me. Let's go. Ooh. Okay. Let me show you a chart. Once upon a time, there was a, a turtle. Khargosh. Do you guys know the story? You don't know the story? Even if you don't know the, know the story, just pretend you don't know the story. What happened? The turtle and the Khargosh, huh? one day the Khargosh told a turtle, such a slow animal. And the turtle said, so what? I'm slow, but I'm good at I'm good at other things. But the, the Khargosh was trying to be a big man. The Khargosh said, no, 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 I'm better than you. So one day, the Khargosh said to Turtle, why don't we have a race? And the Turtle got a bit of ego in it. And he said, yeah, although Turtle is very slow, whereas this Khargosh is uh, very fast. So they both said, okay, let's compete. Okay. So they both started the race and the whole town got together. So they both started the race, mashallah. So here's what happened. Khargosh is red, turtle is green. Khargosh ran so fast. Ran so fast. And then Khargosh looked back and said, oh my God, look at this turtle. And the turtle was moving slow, 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 slow. Slow, 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 getting tired, slow. Khargosh said, you know what? This turtle is going to take forever to catch up to me. What I'm going to do, I am just going to get to the finish line. And Khargosh got to the finish line very, very fast. Not just fast, very fast. How fast? Literally within a few minutes, Khargosh was right at the finish line. Where was the finish line? The finish line was right here. And just before the finish line, Khargosh said, you know what, I'm just going to go to sleep. Who's going to go to sleep? Khargosh. Okay. Whereas Turtle, he kept coming, kept coming. And then the Turtle got to a point where he saw Khargosh sleeping. 
And then he said, I'm not going to give up. Yeah, he go, yeah. So then he went a little bit faster. And then he got, of course, got tired, but he continued. Right the moment when he was about to finish, Khargosh woke up and he wanted to run. But he didn't realize that by the time he got to the, the, the finish line, Turtle had finished and won the race already. Oh, oh, oh. What do we learn from this Khargosh and Turtle story? First of all, if you're Khargosh, don't think you're a big man. Second of all, if you're a turtle, don't think you're a big man either. But also what we learn other than big man or, you know, or whatever, is that a turtle did something amazing, and that is he was too fast at the beginning, at the end. Was that, no, 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 he was uh, consistent. He was consistent. He did not stop, did not give up. Did not say to himself, I can take rest, I can go to sleep. Did not do any of those harkate. What do you call them? Huh? Harkate. He didn't. Whereas Khargosh was uh, very good, actually excellent. Then he was dead, then he was asleep. Hello, mister. <laughs> What's going on here? So he was inconsistent, although he's fast, although Khargosh could have ran it couple of times nah. we're talking about mindset here mindset of the turtle and that is I'm going to be consistent even if I'm slow I'm not going to do too much and I'm going to get tired like Haragosh no it's about the what? it's about the mindset it's about how you think yeah and it's not about race this can be anything now here's a beautiful hadith of the beloved prophet alayhi salatu wasalam and I wanted you Read this hadith and then see how does this hadith link to what I said to you. Abu Ayyub al-Ansari radiyallahu anhu narrated that the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Everyone say alayhi salatu wa salam. What did he say? He said what? Whoever fasts six during the month of Ramadan. Sorry, whoever fasts during the month of Ramadan. And then follows it with six days of shawwal will be rewarded as if he had fasted the entire year. Remember the three common words I taught you earlier? Mm. Bunny! Do you remember? Oh. Not the Quran, Bunny! He's supposed to get you a book. Bunny got the wrong thing here. Ah, now Bunny got the book. The three common words, we we'll come to that in a second. Look at this hadith, you're going to find the three words here. عن أبي أيوب الأنصاري رضي الله عنه أن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قال من صام رمضان ثم أتبعه ستة من شوال كان كصيام الدهر من صام That's the common word, رمضان ثم أتبعه ستة من شوال Whoever fast in Ramadan, after Ramadan he does six extra fasting. It would be as if he had fasted an entire year. Allahu Akbar. How is this hadith linked to this drawing here? Can anyone tell? Looking at the comments. Who can tell me guys? How? How? Wa alaykum as -salam. Wa alaykum as salam. Madrasa acha padhate hain. Chhi baat. Anyone else, guys? Look, if you fast during the month of Ramadan and now you got used to fasting, how much more fast do you have to do? Only six. But you have to stay consistent. And if you do that, then Allah wouldn't just reward you for fasting one month of Ramadan. Allah will reward you as if you fasted an entire year. Which is such a huge thing if you think about it. Allahu Akbar. So there are lessons that we learn from this hadith. Barakallahu feekum. We'll come to the lessons in a bit. But once again, after the month of Ramadan, what are you supposed to do? Boys and girls, you shouldn't be like this. Do so many good deeds in the month of Ramadan. So many good deeds. And as soon as Ramadan finishes, everything finishes. And when I say everything, 
You don't remember even praying five times a day. Astaghfirullah, everything goes away. After the month of Ramadan, it's not happening at all. Hmm. You should not be like this. How you should be instead? You should be, rather than doing so much, do this much, and even after the month of Ramadan, you continue. And this is something Allah Azza wa loves a lot. And we are going to learn a hadith, inshallah ta'ala, next week that will tell us about what is it that Allah loves from a person, what is it and how should we be doing our good deeds. It's really about staying consistent rather than doing too much or too less, boys and girls. Someone said, you know Urdu. Gee, boys and girls, barakallahu fikum. There's some important lessons we learned from the hadith where you can see the common words, sama, sitta, and dahar. Man sama Ramadan, thumma atba'ahu sittan min shawwal, kana ka siyam dahar. Let's have a look at, inshallah ta'ala, lessons from this hadith. Good deeds. Good deeds should continue even after the month of Ramadan. You should not say to yourself, Ramadan is over. Now it's all about eating, drinking and overeating. Should not be like that. Should continue. And boys and girls. Ah, I'm going to inshallah ta'ala teach you another hadith next week that will tell you why is it that you should really, really continue doing good deeds even after the month of Ramadan. What's the importance of that? Next, from the immense mercy of Allah that he multiplies your good deeds by 10. But our sins, oops, there is a mistake there, but our sins are only count, they only count as one sin. So let's have a look inshallah ta'ala. مَنْ جَاءَ بِالْحَسَنَةِ فَلَهُ عَشْرُ أَمْثَالِهَا Hasana means good deed. Ha sana. Hasana, good deed. If you do one good deed, Allah Azza wa Jalla multiply by ten, you get ten good deeds. That's in Arabic by the way. If you do sayyi'a, a sin, then it's only multiplied by one, it means you only get one sin for it. But you get ten rewards. Ooh, boys and girls, barakallahu feekum, you have to pay attention and realize that this is your golden opportunity to earn and to do as many good deeds as you can because Allah Azza wa is Ghafoor Rahim. but after you die, you're not going to have this chance. You have this perfect opportunity, do good deeds, Allah will increase the reward of those good deeds. Very important that you keep that in mind. Now come back after the break, we're going to go over two more important lessons that we learned from this hadith. And then after that, inshallah ta'ala, I'm going to be teaching you the tajweed, some tajweed rules in Surah Al-Fatiha. Not only that, inshallah, after that, we are going to be giving you a chance to call, recite, get some feedback on your recitation. So make sure you call me in, boys and girls, a short break. We'll be back, inshallah ta'ala, in the break time. Start calling me in. We'll see you after a short break. Stay with us. Assalamu alaikum.
Welcome back, boys and girls, to Madrasa TV show once again. We are going to be continuing our show, but here is what I want you to remember. On this show today, we learn some common words of Quran. We have a hadith segment, and we are also going to have our tajweed segment. But remember, inshallah ta'ala, we have recite and reflect segment right at the end of this show. Boys and girls, you have to call me in and recite and get some feedback on your recitation. Go ahead and do that, inshallah ta'ala. Call me in either on the studio line number or the landline number, inshallah ta'ala. But come with me because we have an important hadith to learn. Let's go, inshallah ta'ala, and learn the important hadith before we come back and learn Surah Al-Fatiha. <laughs> All right, boys and girls, we have a cooler, inshallah ta'ala. Let's speak to the cooler and then we're going to get them to recite, inshallah ta'ala, afterwards. Can we speak to the cooler? Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum assalamu rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to the show and who's on the line? Mariam Khan. Mariam, how are you? Alhamdulillah, and how are you? I'm very well, and how was your Ramadan, Maryam? Alhamdulillah, it was great. Because Maryam is the first caller of Madrasa TV show, I'm going to write her name in Arabic calligraphy for her. Maryam, uh, what's your favorite color? Uh, purple. Boys and girls, that's some Maryam Khan in purple. Let's do that, inshallah ta'ala. Maryam Khan in purple. Well done, Mariam. Stay with us on the line. Inshallah ta'ala, we're going to get you to recite later on. Guys, start calling me in. The number is on the screen here. We're going to write Mariam Khan here. Meme. Ra. Yeah. Meme. Mariam. Mar. Mariam. Here we go. May Allah bless you, Maryam. Boys and girls, let's continue, inshallah ta'ala. Back to our hadith segment. Call me in if you wish to recite, inshallah ta'ala. We're going to get Maryam on the call later on and listen to her recitation. Oh, okay. We continue, inshallah ta'ala. We just learned a hadith before the break. And the hadith was a very important one for those of you who just fasted the month of Ramadan. Now here, the Prophet ﷺ is teaching us, مَنْ صَامَ رَمَضَانَ ثُمَّ أَتْبَعَهُ سِتَّةٍ مِنْ شَوَالِ فَكَانَ كَصِيَامِ أو كَانَ كَصِيَامِ الدَّهَرِ Whoever fasts during the month of Ramadan and then follows it with six days of shawal will be rewarded as if he had fasted the entire month. Yeah, Allahu Akbar, boys and girls. So, that was a mistake there. So here's some lessons we learned from the hadith. Allah can increase the reward of our good deeds more than we expect. So here, the rule that I was teaching you that your good deeds are multiplied by 10. In the month of Ramadan, yes, some scholars would say that Allah will increase it by 70. So you get 70 reward for doing one good deed. By the way, this is 7070 in Arabic. You're not only getting one good deed, you're getting 70 good deeds. And wallahu yudha'ifu liman yashan. Allah can increase it for someone however how many more times Allah likes. For example, Laylat al-Qadr, you do one good deed and you get reward of doing it for a thousand months. Allahu Akbar. Barakallahu feekum. And here is the last one. There's a greater reward in just going a little bit further when everyone else has or is giving up. Think about it. If everyone stopped doing something and you continue to do it even after the month of Ramadan, then that means you're special. And also there is something amazing that we know about people who continue doing good deeds even after the month of Ramadan. But I'm going to teach you that in a different way. Uh, segment and that is going to be a narration inshallah ta'ala boys and girls are we ready for the tajweed segment we're going to be listening to some recitation inshallah ta'ala before we do that let's write to this hadith all 
Okay, so let's write today's hadith inshallah ta'ala and then we can read Surah Al-Fatiha and we can give some feedback to students on Surah Al-Fatiha. Man sama Ramadan thumma atba'ahu sittatan من شوال فكان كان كصيام الدهر Not really a good writing, but I tried my best. Boys and girls, write the hadith, inshallah ta'ala. I just want to check, is it kana ka siyam al or faka? I think it is kana ka siyam al Let's have a look, inshallah ta'ala, boys and girls. Have a look, have a look. Man saama Ramadan, thumma atba'ahu. Sitta min shawal, kana ka siyam al Kana. Barakallahu feekum, boys and girls. Let's go, inshallah ta'ala, to our next segment. And that is going to be a tajweed segment. أرجو به أن ينفع الطلاب والأجر والقبول والثواب Boys and girls, سورة الفاتحة together and then we listen to your recitation but here is a number if you wish to call and recite call us on the number that you see on the line here uh, on the screen here there's a study line number we also have a whatsapp number أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين Boys and girls, what exciting news. We have three callers, inshallah ta'ala, who are going to be resigning with us. Let's go straight to our first caller. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Mariam Khan, you still with us? How are you? I'm good, Alhamdulillah, and how are you? Very well, Alhamdulillah. Mariam, you go ahead. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytanir rajeem. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إِهْدِنَا الصِّرَاطَ الْمُسْتَقِيمِ صِرَاطَ الَّذِينَ أَنْعَمْتَ عَلَيْهِمْ خَيْرِ الْمَخْضُوبِ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا الضَّالِّينَ آمين ما شاء الله تبارك الله This is going to be an extraordinary patient. Extraordinary badge. Next caller, alaikum. Hello. 
السلام عليكم صفية السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام Welcome Sophia, how are you today? Alhamdulillah, and you? I'm very well, who else is reciting with you? Just me Just you? Yes Alright, let's go ahead then, Bismillah Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman ar-Rahim مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم وغير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين صراط الذين لا سهل كتس Boys and girls, this is Sira Tolladina. Ta Fatha Ta not ta. A go bad for this recital. Our last call. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Who's next? Iman, assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam. Iman, let's get you to recite straight away. Go. How are you? I'm well, and how are you? I'm good. Go ahead. Oh, <laughs> He was the Lalamin, I was man who I hear. Malik Yomi Dean, he I can I would do why I can I stay. He did not sit out on Mustaim, she lost the Lazin and I'm the away him. I'm to be a lame, what a darling. I How old are you, Iman? Five. I'm going to give you a bronze badge, but if you call me tomorrow and recite another surah, then I promise you, I will give you a silver badge. Amazing! Is there anyone else who wants to read? Okay, I thought her little, uh, uh, the, kid, the, the baby there, one mom I want to recite. Boys and girls, what an amazing show. We'll be back tomorrow, inshallah ta'ala, with some more segments for you, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Tune in tomorrow, inshallah ta'ala, live on Iman channel at 4 p.m. Those of you watching live on YouTube, may Allah bless you guys. Make sure, make sure before you leave that you... Oh, not this one, guys. Uh, make sure before you leave. Bunny. Oh, it's funny to me. Make sure you like, subscribe, and you share. Oh, the button is wrong. Okay, Bunny is making dua that you like and share and subscribe this video. We'll be seeing you tomorrow, boys and girls. Until then, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.